Chris, what a guy like Chandler Johnson? What, what, what do you, what are the expectations for him after a year in this league? You know, a year in the weight and in this program. What do you see for him moving into year number two? Well, that Cheney had a just a great year last year, coming up from Division Two uh, and coming all the way up to high major basketball. Um, he played some of his best games on the road. It was easy transition because you had Jalen Williams and Janai Broom that sort of carried the load. And so Cheney was sort of able to come off the bench and give us a spark. Um, now it's it's his turn. So there's actually going, I think, going to be as big an adjustment now going, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's do it every night. Let's do it potentially as a starter. We'll see. But he's an incredibly hard worker. He's in the gym all day, every day. He's got tremendous discipline in his life. Um, he just needs to kind of, like, I want Cheney to relax and, and, and play with confidence and have, have a little bit more fun. He's such a diligent worker that I think if he had a little bit more joy in the game and relax a little bit, he, he'd play even better. But have you guys, I'd, take a, I'd take a team full of them, though. I was going to say, have you guys been putting the ball in his hands more like you said you might do for the summer? I mean, we'll see. It's way too early to, to, to know who's ball, who's going to get the ball. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll spread it around. Um, put him in good positions to, you know, to be successful. I, I'm, I'm just betting on him because he because he's so disciplined in his life. He's such an incredibly hard worker. Um, but you know, there's always been that he wasn't highly recruited out of high school. He was a Division II player. Does he belong? We all believe he does. His teammates and coaches do. He's got to believe it as well. Bruce, you sort of made mention a couple times about the possibility of Jim and Dylan maybe playing more together this season. It's super early in the offseason, yep. but just kind of what are your thoughts on that? Hey, hey, hey. Well, I mean, one of the things that I intentionally did when it came to our recruiting this this year was I felt like I owed Janai, Dylan, and Chaney the opportunity to recruit some guys, or in particular, there's really one guy, and that's Shaheem Hudson. But with a guy that I thought could challenge them, but not a high, high, high major at the position. Like, in other words, we weren't going to go and invest a ton in a, in a, a guaranteed starter. Okay, it's, those guys are all seniors. Again, it's their, it's their team. And I just didn't want to recruit over them. I'm really happy with Jaheim because you know what he's doing? He's competing with them. You know, he was a 5.3 and a half rebounding guy, game a guy at SMU. But he's a little better. He's a little tougher. He's a little bigger. He's got a, he's, he's, he brings a level of toughness to us that, that I really like. He's got some grit to him. And so, um, as a result, that will be, we'll be uh, um, we're going to be a little bigger. I think we're going to be a lot older, and 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 and, and I think we're going to be really good defensively. And I, I think that's going to be something that's going to carry the ball for us. Is we've got to be really hard to score. If we can defend physically without fouling, we could be a real problem defensively, with a, with a, with an attitude about physicality and, and and toughness, and and a little bit of a swagger. And I think I've got some guys, you know. They'll play tough and physically without fouling. We could be we could be a problem. A couple more. They've got a, a VIP event they need to get to. So Auburn, you know, on the road this year or this past season didn't have you know the best outcome. But with tell me what they were. I'm not even sure what they were. Five and five um, on the road away. And how do you think with the difficulty of this season yeah. and SEC, how do you think? What's going to be different this season? Yeah. Well, you know, it's like, like I, was, I, I wasn't even sure what our record was. If we can win them all at home and split on the road, it gives us a fighting yeah. chance. And we just does. It just does. It's so hard to win on the road. I, I, I actually like road wins better. So, um, but look, you, you at, we have the best home court advantage in college basketball. And Neville Arena is the toughest place to play. It does two things. One, it gives our, it gives our kids courage. And it, it, it does elevate their play, some of them. Okay, and it can bother the opponent. You add those three things together and it gives us a, we have an edge. Um, but we've also been a team that, while even over the last couple of years, I bet you I bet you our margins of defeat on the road, I can only think of really one road game where we weren't in the game. Like, I mean, like we are, we are, we're in the game. Um, I think it's just a compliment to our league. The league's going to be tough. There'll be, there'll be nine teams in the top 30 teams in the country this year. It's like SEC football now. It's like SEC baseball now. It, always, it wasn't always that way, but it, it really truly is now.
Coach, you guys did extremely well, you know, in the tra transfer portal this year. Pick up guys like JP, uh, uh, Hanks, I believe his name is from Berman, guys like Miles Kelly from Georgia Tech. How crucial has the trans transfer portal been to building building the squad this year, and what do you expect from, from some of these new guys? The thing about the, the transfer portal is this. Our kids want to stay. Auburn kids want to stay at Auburn. We have an advantage. If all things are equal, they love Auburn. They love the Auburn family. They love playing um, for Coach Freeze. They love playing for me. They, they, they love the support that we get. Um, and so we don't have as many guys leaving as a lot of places have had. That said, the transfer portal has helped us every single year. We've upgraded our roster every, every year since this thing's been open. We got better in the transfer portal. And I think that I think the common denominator for us is continuing to recruit really good kids. Like guys that I owe it to Cheney Johnson and Dylan Cardwell and 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 uh, you know Janai and uh, Denver and the guys that return to bring in really good players who are great kids. Guys that they're gonna to want to be teammates with, the guys that they're gonna to want to compete with, and the guys wanna to try to compete for championships with. So you gotta make the thing about the transfer portal, the other thing too is like, you know, sometimes when coach and I have got to go look at a high school player, you've got to evaluate the competition. There's a lot of factors that are there. When you get them out of the portal, you see them, you know, you see them against really good competition. And so you can make really good evaluations out of the portal. And I, I think we, I think we have, we haven't missed, we haven't missed on one, not one transfer have we missed on yet. Last one. What have you seen from Jacob Beginnings thus far? Well, I think our backcourt's got a chance to be really good. Um, JP has been... JP has been quietly consistent. All he's done doesn't show up a lot, doesn't make you go ooh and ah very often, all he does is win. He's, his, his teams have won, and he's been incredibly patient sort of facilitating and letting other guys do some things, and I, I think he's taken a really interesting approach to his, his arrival. Um, you know, rather than worrying about him making himself look good, he's been more worried about making sure everybody gets involved and learning the system, so on and so forth. Um, and then, you know, Miles Kelly uh, came in from Georgia Tech. You know, he can really shoot it. He got a chance to be one of the best shooters in our league. And so you add that to our roster. They both got really good size and really good length. Again, I think it could, I think it could really help us defensively. It's hard to score in practice right now. And so um, getting old and stay old is good. But like I said, last year we picked in the middle of the league. This year we might be picked a little higher than the middle of the league. But the league, the league is as good as, it, as it's been since I've been here.